Okay, so the one over here is 172C. 172C. Yeah, that's a good Did you write that in, Kimberly? Mm. Trying to. 170B. 102B. 102B? Uh -huh. oh, did we already say that? Uh, there is no 175B. So do you have a 175 on your sheet at all? So you have a 175 in bunk 11. Alyssa, I hate to be a pessimist, but we might not get anything done today at 10 o'clock in the morning. Someone get this woman more coffee. At what point do you send out an amber alert on 172B? You got 114B-2. 176A. Bingo. Yes. We're on unit B, B for breve. <laughs> unit C, C for coffee. 124. Uh, 106B-1. 106B-2. B1 and B2, they're actually the same size. They're both, two, well, actually no, one's two feet wide. Wait. Bananas in pajamas, yeah, they're like big bananas wearing oh. pajamas. Oh my gosh. I don't know guys, I think that says B1, but there is a two in there. Melissa, how do you say two in German? What's Italian? <laughs> oh. Is do. Part do. So we finished accounting for all the panels. They're all here. And now what we're doing is we want to start on the north wall because it's closest to the ground. And we kind of want to just go one wall at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this will work good. So it's now. Pretty simple wall, too. So that's Yeah, good. now we're trying to figure out which bunk the north wall panels are in. And believe it or not, it's plural. It's yeah. Yeah. I so think we're gonna have to in... pretty much destroy or take apart every single panel to get the wall, the north panels out. Yeah. So we need bunks. Uh, one, <laughs> three. Let's see. Two. Uh, one, two, not three. We need four, five, six, six. Oh my gosh. Seven, seven eight, eight. Oh my gosh. And ten. ten. That's. Well, there's only a couple of bunks so we don't need to take. There's apart. only three, nine, and eleven that we don't need to take apart to get to those panels. And that's just for the lower portion, <laughs> not even the upper portion. That's just the living level. Um, yeah, so then we're gonna try to get this. I think Ethan even told us this, like leave yourself room to spread your panels out so you can kind of sort through the bunks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you need room to assemble them too. So if we're gonna do any kind of assembly on the ground, one step at a time. So we've made an action plan before we do anything we have to kind of reorganize the property so we have space to spread out the sip panels and the sips. And as we kind of take out what we need, we're gonna stack them by wall. So we're gonna need a lot of space. Anna's gonna move the backhoe. We have to unstick our lumber. Brian and Kimberly are gonna set up stickers. Um, lots of work. Yeah, this is a lot of like that groundwork. And then we still have some prep to do on the house. We're gonna just focus on the north wall today. And we've still got to do some work on the uh, the sill plates and getting the shoe installed. So it'll be a little bit of that. So I think a group of us are going to work on breaking down the bunks and sorting out the yeah. house by logistics. And then some of us are going to work on getting ready to do a wall installation. Then we'll kind of check back in. It's going to be a little chaotic and there's a chance that we won't even put up a single panel today. But this is what the beginning of projects looks like. and. I think yeah. we've always said when, when you have help, it's really hard whether we should work together, work on different things. So that's kind of what we're going to do is just work through the day and yep. see how things and, fall. And playing to strengths too. So that's good. Yep. So as we shared in one of our recent videos, the sips are actually going to sit on a shoe, which is going to be treated two by eight lumber, except it's about a quarter inch too big at the moment and we really don't want to shoehorn this to fit otherwise the OSB could become delaminated so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm measuring all these and they are indeed seven and a quarter almost exactly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip the lumber down to be just a little bit smaller so it sits on there with ease gonna pop the band. Ready? <laughs> Bam! Seriously. Wow, look That's at you guys. Man. I, I don't have any guns. <laughs> Thank you. 
last one. Yay. That went pretty well. Yeah, good job. Guys. I think. So we weren't planning on organizing all the panels by wall, but we did. It wasn't in plan A. It sort of worked out that way, but I feel like this saved us a lot of work down the road. And we have another so. house over here, so this is the- Oh yeah, one. This is, these are our spacers. This is all waste material they use to stack the sips and transport. And I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I was thinking a sip house with the ICF basement for Bugaboo. I say we start a challenge called the Reclaimed Sips Building Challenge because there's people are so head over heels with reclaimed materials that we're gonna put these down by the side of the road and it'll say reclaimed sips and everybody will be like, I want them, I want them for my house. So what we're trying to accomplish now is we need to narrow the sill plates up to be at or under the sip once the sip is installed. We have for the first time are seeing our rim board since prior to the workshop or just after the workshop, I think we put this plastic on. So we're gonna run a string down here and see if any of the swelling or anything in the rim is an issue and kind of get an idea how straight this is. And then hopefully we'll measure off the rim, the hold back for our sheetrock and then our sip and we'll chalk a line and rip these things down. If you remember when we put these screws in, we inset them over an inch. That way we had room to rip out whatever the extra on the sill plate was. So it looks like our rim board's actually pretty dialed. Um, it's just the width of these sill plates that actually fluctuates as it goes down. Hopefully we got that nailed. So we're wanting to uh, account for the width of our sips, which is mm, a little over eight and a quarter. Oh, sorry, sorry. The construction crew happening over here. And then we want to add in our sheetrock, which will go on the inside. And then we're gonna give ourselves, we'll give ourselves an eighth so that we can have room to get the sheetrock in there. You wanna snap in the middle, Anna? Really? Wow, this is so, Frick. this is pretty intimidating. Frick! <laughs> Hopefully we put our uh, screws in deep heck? enough. How the heck? All right, you have no power, ready? Ready? ready. Done. You're hot. Okay. Pump this freaking thing again. When you need it, you need it. Gotta get the last time out of there first. Well, we haven't hit a screw so far, so I guess we put them deep enough. circle of yeah it sucked about as much as I thought it would suck that's why I was not excited about extending the sills but this is like but, the worst of everything because I can't rotate the saw somebody out there's thinking why don't you use the wide side of the table and the answer, <clears throat> the answer is because the motor is too wide to fit against the rim so I have to use the skinny side so I'm using the skinny side of a huge saw for 38 feet getting an ab workout you do it you do it then judge Oh. Wow, that did make a lot of sawdust, didn't it? Do, do that hanging off the ladder. It's about the tenth time we've cleaned these. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow we still enjoy it. Time a for a test okay. fit. Middle. Right there is your shot. Okay. okay. Do a little left leg. So, hun, uh, tip oh, it out towards you. It, that's, that corner's all the, bunged up. The edge that's on your right in this front This corner's edge. bunged up pretty Ow. good. Yeah, so hook the front edge first and then rock, rock it onto the back edge. Oh. I did that one. <laughs> you okay? 
down fine. You good? Wow. Wow, yeah, so that rocks like a son of a gun Let's on there. Let's flip the 180. Oh no, it's okay, we'll screw it and glue it. Like it okay. ain't going anywhere. We're just checking it for fitment, I guess. So what we care about now is that there's three quarters of an inch behind yep. the sipish, the shippish. I bet a lot of people watching this didn't fully understand what these shoes were for until they see it in action. And Anna has her spacers ready to go. That's a horrible spacer, Anna. Can be persuaded, maybe. Will she work? It'll work. The, the spacers... Is that inch and a quarter? It's three quarter. Oh, that's three quarter. Well, what we could do, this is a great way to do it. Instead of using like a man-made fabricated spacer, just put these sips, sips in a three quarter piece of plywood, <laughs> screw it and glue it. I know it'll fit because I just built it that way. I don't, know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it makes sense in my head. So I'm gonna go a little bit inside. Yeah. Okay, I'm on right there. Full to your heart's content. We have to, we actually need to rip this down oh. so that we can put this wall. Of course. On. Yeah. Is that a wow. screw already? Found it. We tried to put them deep enough. I got it. Oh, I see what it is. I'm leaning like wicked far. These blades are cheap. Yeah, the Diablos. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it'll even go. Nope, cut enough, cut too much of it off. Uh, can, these look deep enough. Yeah. So I think, oh wow, yeah, that one's like not even in there. So the washer looks sunk. So it appears there were a couple bucks, of bucks, screws um, that we didn't drill in all the way. And we cut enough of them off that we can't get them back out. So Jesse just went ahead and drilled the head off just to complete this job and get the blade past him. And we have another blade in storage. This is my new Mankita grinder. Is that enough to complete the task? Yeah, enough. Yeah. Did Brian show that some of the teeth are gone? Well, <laughs> would you want your teeth missing to be shown? No. Well, yeah, let's see how many we lost. Let's just count them. Over. Hold on. Wow, a lot of them. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, ten. Wow. Eleven, twelve. <gasps> and it still cuts. <laughs> oh, it's your first teeth, Mr. Mankito. Maybe we'll put it under its pillow Tooth or Mary. something. <laughs> oh, it just, so carbide is great until you hit metal. Yeah. And then it's yeah. like... <laughs> Here's our corner mock-up. So one wall, the north wall, is actually going to go flush to the end of the sill plate extension here. Yeah, so this this will probably end up getting held back, you know, something like that. I think we'll explain how the walls connect to each other in, in a different video, so yeah, stay tuned if it doesn't make sense to you. So we should be able to put the sip shoe on now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You'll probably have to just set that somewhere else. Yeah, it's not gonna stop. For it's like gonna minutes. splooge like crazy. Don't worry so much about putting it perfect. Like it yeah. Okay, so we're gonna kind of work on panel prep on the north wall, and we're gonna start with panel 112, which is in the northeast corner, and then we've got 113, which must be that skinny little guy right there, and then we're already into the transom window over the bed. So what we need to think about here is there's actually a lumber spline here, and then we have an OSB spline. I'm sorry, that's actually an electrical chase. And then we've got a spline here, and so we need to get our lumber spline installed, and then we need to get our SIP screws installed and the SIP shoe screws installed. And we probably want to install this OSB spline. I'm kind of wondering if we can't just assemble this whole thing on the ground and take it all up there as one big panel. It's probably a little heavy, but let's see what happens. Um, I can set this stuff out of the weather. Good, so Brian actually caught on here. So we have an electrical chase that's running at outlet height across the bottom of the panel. And so that's actually the bottom of the panel. There's an electrical chase right here. So we've got a, yeah, 
so that's bottom this is top do we want to write that on here or something so I'm kind of seeing what they did here they actually did this for us they actually put electrical chase markings on there and there's an orange marking there so that actually makes our life a lot easier too yep. I was thinking we were gonna do that right but I see now they did it yep um, so that on the inside it's rough on the outside yep okay so hopefully that's Okay, good stuff. Cool, so I think we need to get the uh, splines that are in the back of our truck and we need to kind of figure out how those work and go from there. Yep, something like that. We're kind of inventorying the splines and it looks like we have everything from like a five foot, five foot five, six, six foot one. There's no rhyme or reason to the length on these splines. They're just spline material. So it seems like we kind of just cut them to fit and that's it. We're definitely getting rained on now. Before it was like trying to just test us and I think it's a legitimate rain. Um, so I was just curious if our lumber shrunk in the kiln or not. And uh, it sounds like Brian's saying no. So cool. Okay, so why don't we try a couple and we'll just see what happens. That one was heavy. Okay. But the rest of these are pretty, that one's a little know. heavy. A still Chevy. Okay, so maybe as we pull these out, let's keep an eye on that. And if they're heavy, let's run them through the table saw and we'll rip them down to seven and a quarter. Okay. Okay. Furring strips done. Just, what the heck? What is this garbage on my face? Hopefully that's right-ish. Okay. Okay, popping right in the middle. You ready? Yeah. Tight? Yeah. So what we need to do is get a piece of the lumber from the pile and rip it down to seven and an eighth on the table saw. And then we need to cut it to the length for the lumber spline on this panel. Oh, the um, lumber spline. Yeah, you know, on the end. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, while that's doing, we're cutting the chase in here for the foam that we're going to later go back and foam. And that was the advice of shelter. And then we're gonna get the splines hooked together, these panels hooked together. And then I think, I think we're getting close to sticking it up there. What are these for? What's what for? These little splines. Uh, Ryan's marked them three inches on center. Uh -huh. For us, they're just for marking screws. So you know, oh. part to put your screws. I thought you're screwing them to the OSB. Oh, I no. understand. No, they're just guides oh, for cool. screwing it. So you're pre-putting the screws in, so that when we put the panels up, it's easier. Yeah, we just yeah. You don't want to do as little screwing up there as you can. Wait. <laughs> yeah. See what I did there. <laughs> You look like you've been snowed on. I, I, Brian was making fun of me. He's saying I was flogged. Flogged? Yeah, see flogged. The snowman. To the crazy happy dude. Are you guys excited to get this up? Yes. Curious to see how it works. This, will this exceed your expectations for the day, or did you think that we'd get like, half the house done? I. I had no expectations. I didn't. I either. wanted to deal with zips that's... and see the actual ordeal with them. See, yep. see what's involved, and that's what we got, and it's great. It, yeah, at the at the uh, at the cost of the uh, Mankita blade bit. Yeah. Everyone, let's a moment of silence. Yep. Mankita, moment, moment of silence. silence. Did you say every three inches? Yeah. Holy smokes. So yeah, we're flipping this all the way over. Which way are you flipping, dude? That way. I got you back here. I got you here. Man, I really wish these were made out of foam. Oh. <laughs> we have to admit defeat for the day because... This lumber's not, won't recess into the, the spline for it. We have clamps, but the clamps we have aren't good enough. Yeah. So we do have better clamps and storage, which we're gonna try. Longer, not better, just longer. I don't know if we wanna bring our planer home. No, 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 that's ridiculous. 
Yeah, the planer won't help. So we have a hot knife that we've ordered that we can use to remove some of the foam. On. I don't think it's even shipped yet. Yeah. That's not a good sign. We could push tonight, but it's already past seven. It's probably not wise to keep pushing, especially no. with the group. Yeah. Um, it's probably going to take us at least another hour to get the panel up. So we think we're going to call it quits here, grab a bite to eat, and then we'll have a really good start to the day tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully we get a good start in the morning and this will be a good place to start. Try to get this, these two together and then up and then, yeah, it'll feel really good. It's a pretty good day, I think. Timber frame, this is your very last night being completely naked. Enjoy it.